Hey, Mary Francis. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, for joining us. Hey, uh, it's good to good to be here with you guys for our 100th class and sticking through. Can't believe it's been 100 classes. <laughs> Who would have thought that when we started this that this was uh, last this long and and we're still going. So um, and then tomorrow we we uh, finish off the the basic eight series. So we'll have all eight complete exercises after tomorrow. So. It's a pretty major accomplishment for all of us and a major milestone. So uh, we really appreciate you guys and all of your support of us as well. Um, we're kind of, we're winging it along the way as we went trying to figure out what was the best way to do this. So we're still learning and we're still trying to um, do what we, you know, try to help figure out what's best going forward. Um, so today I, I, I do want to talk about, since we're talking about 100, all right, 100 is also important in, in um, well, in, in face reading, but we look at, you know, the five elements in terms of also uh, our lifespan and, and what that means um, and the different cycles that happen in our lives. So let me just give you some context and pull up what 100 years mean on the face, okay? Um, one second here. All right, okay, this is maybe a little bit pixely, um, but you may see, you should see some numbers uh, on the face. All right, so this is, so there's a difference between women and men. Okay, so you can see on the, okay, here's one. So your first year starts on, on women, it's on your right ear. So remember, women are always right. Uh, so we, uh, women start on the right. Okay, and for men, it would be their opposite side. So, oops, I did not mean to do that for, on her. Okay, so this is the men's face and it starts, it's pretty much a mirror of the other. So it starts on uh, one on the ear, one through seven on one ear, and then eight through 14 on the other ear. And it goes through and then and then 100 is right on your chin. So a lot of the, uh, your later years are on your jaw, but also around the, basically the circumference of your face, around your hairline as well. This is actually, we didn't discuss this as much, but this is the, also a kidney area uh, of your face, uh, right along the, the hairline, um, as well as that jawline too, okay? Um, so what do these numbers mean on you, okay? So we talked about once briefly that you know, markings and wrinkles on your face are actually a good thing uh, because they represent uh, different lessons that you may have learned in your life. So if you got like a wrinkle or a blemish or something like that on your face, that's what it means. And if you try to erase it, you try to maybe Botox it out or something, um, that also can erase that valuable lesson that you may have learned uh, in your life. So. Uh, what these numbers correspond to is you may have different markings, it could be different blemishes, could be a scar um, on your face. Now, not, I, I don't think any of us are 100 right now, okay? So that means that some of these numbers are into your future, all right? Um, but let's talk about the ones in your past. So if you look in your past and you may see certain markings that could correspond to different numbers on your face, so you may look at that as it could be um, so it could be a few different things. One, it could just be a little marking. It may not mean much, but energetically we look at uh, perhaps it was a lesson that was learned or something important uh, happened at that period in time. Um, it, but it only marks if you uh, learned a lesson or, or some sort of impact from that. Okay, so something might have happened. It's, it's also your reaction to it. So for, so, for example, okay, this year could be a very uh, lesson-imposing year. It could be one that's a life-changing year for you. But for some other people, it might just be, well, it's the same thing for me every day. Okay, so there are some people that don't, that they're not stressed out. They're just going on their daily day every day this year. And so they wouldn't mark at all, okay? But like if you had some really major you know, um, maybe a depression or maybe had a really major shift in your life. Maybe you're having a change in careers. You're, you're pivoting around in your life um, from what you normally do. Then you're probably going to mark uh, 
for this year um, on your face. Um, so th that's what would be on your past. And then your future would be areas that you want to be just noting on. Okay, just like what we talk about in, in Five Elements, uh, every 12 years is a very major uh, change or transition um, because you know that's a change in the elements. So for example, uh, one through 12, what we say the spring years or, or your, um, your wood years, and that's kind of your early years with your kind of coming into being. Um, and then from 13 through uh, 24 are your fire years. Those are years when you know, you're really uh, kind of full blown uh, into who you are. And then you know, from 24 to 36, we look at when you start to, start to establish your roots, start to get grounded, people have families, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, and then from 36 to 48 is when you start to get some clarity about, you know, what's important in your life and your direction and where you're going to go. Um, and then from 48 to 60 is when we start to uh, dream and imagine and also gather a lot of wisdom about your life, but also thinking about your next uh, 60 year cycle after 60. So 60 is not over. And the same thing, 100 years, it's not over. So there is an absolute and a relative. So we, you know, in, in five elements, we look at, you know, all these different every twelve years as being very important. Um, and and here we look at the later years. Uh, so that this is more of a relative because we all live in the past sixty. If you live to sixty, like it's like amazing, right? Like you won the lottery. Uh, but now you know, most people live past 60, way past 60. And so our goal is more like 100 or 110. Obviously, it's more about being healthy and able and, you know, having your mental capacities with you uh, through all this time. And that's why you're doing Qigong and taking care of your health. Um, so, okay. So I also want to give you an example of, of someone who is past 60. And it's very interesting. I don't know if any of you watch like America's Got Talent. Um, but let's see if I can pull up her picture here. Mm -hmm. Hang on. Oh yeah, okay. So she's a contestant on, on America's Got Talent. She's seventy three. Right. So, so I don't look like that. Um, so you know, this is very interesting. She started bodybuilding at 59 and if you had been in my talk about you know about every 12 cycles you want to prepare for major changes in her life so this is at the end of her big 60 year cycle so around 59 was when she started bodybuilding and she's 73 now so you know you might go through things that you want to do so she was a school teacher you know she was in the first 60 year cycle she was busy you know with her kids and her career and this is a pastor of hers, so she got into this at 59. Um, so that's pretty amazing. So who knows what you're gonna do at, uh, at 60. So it's, it's not exactly 60, it's, it's around that time. And so it's very important that these, in these 12 year cycles, and especially that 60 year cycle, you're, you prepare for these times to have major changes happen in your lives so that you can go with that, so that the wind is behind you. Uh, when you want to make things happen and make things uh, change. Um, so every 12 years, every 60 years, but then we look at these 100 years and the markings on your face to help you guide. So these are not like, so when I look at face reading, it's not about like these set in stone, like predetermined things that are going to happen in your life. So if you have a big marking for your next year, you'll be like, oh no, but look at it also as an opportunity. Remember that. Um, usually it's the challenging times in our lives when we sort of reconsider things, look at things more deeply, um, and make big changes that oftentimes we learn really important lessons that help us um, in our lives. So I do want to, you know, don't be afraid. So that's one side, right, of the kidney is that fear. We're all going to have a little bit of fear because it's kind of unknown in, ter in terms of future. It's not set. And I say that too with face reading, is that there may be markings on your face in the next year, in the next 10 years, in the next 20 years, whatever, 
okay? But don't look at those as fear. Look at those as opportunities. Look at those as times that you can gain a lot of wisdom. And maybe you're not on your path, and that might be something that will help jolt you into your path. So it doesn't mean that it's going to be a fun time. It is, like This is not a fun time for most people, this COVID time. Um, but look at it as a huge opportunity. Perhaps, like for me, I'll give an example. Is like There's a lot of things I had on my list of things to do. And um, I've gotten a lot of those things done during this time that I normally would not have done. Um, and it's also a very uncomfortable time because it's like there's a lot of uncertainty. Um, but use that as an advantage because, you know, you can accomplish things that you never thought you could have done. Um, if otherwise, you were going to continue on with what you were normally going to do in your life. So, again, look at those marks also as an opportunity um, and prepare for them. And the more you prepare, right, what, what do they say about luck? It's... Uh, Less opportunity, right? So if you prepare and then the right moment comes along, magic happens, okay? So sometimes we prepare and it's not quite right. Well, we're going to use that water determination or use that willpower, okay? Or use that drive, all right? Or use that fire, that sparkle, okay? Or use that, you know, passion. So whatever your gifts are in your life, Okay, utilize them um, to help you prepare so that when that preparation and opportunity meet, okay, that's when you create your own luck. So thank you very much for joining us. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow for the eighth exercise in basic